Hi Crafty Angels, welcome back to my channel. It's Vanessa from Angel Rose Designs here on YouTube. And today, I am here with a social media challenge entry for Sharon, who is Posh Paper Lady here on YouTube. She's holding a social media challenge, and the title of the challenge is Envelope Challenge. And what you do is you take two envelopes and make a um, item to e either card or whatever you want with it. But it has to contain two envelopes. And uh, you don't have to send anything in to her. All you have to do is follow the rules on her video, which will be linked down below in the comment section of this video. And you get, you can go to her video and find out all the information that you need. And <clears throat> the challenge ends June 9th, but you have six days to get your challenge entries recorded. And she'll state everything on her video about this, okay? She's got the rules and regulations and guidelines and whatever on hers, okay? Um, you can go and check her channel out. And here is my take on the two envelope, the envelope challenge with the two envelopes. What I did is I took two greeting card envelopes and I glued them together the way she specified. And what I did is I used the paper here. It's from Karen Kane, who is She Shed Crafts. And on Etsy, which I'll link her link down below this video also. On Etsy, she's KK's Crafts, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I put her paper here on the front. I used her paper, her digi in the back. And on the inside of the cord okay now what I done with mine is I put this off ray trim here just to deck it up a little bit okay then I put this little bow here with a pearl in the middle and then on the inside some more off ray lace but also it's a pocket here you can put whatever you want up here and then what I did here was I put a small envelope with a little note card where you can put a uh, gift card or whatever you want here in the little pocket and you can write whatever you want here on the uh, paper and I also did some stitching on the sides that was inspired by Miss Tracy Phillips. And then I put some double-sided tape to keep it closed. Again, I use KK's paper here. This is from um, Crafters, Crafters Square, which I purchased at Dollar Tree. And here is four little three little flowers that I glued together, which I believe I got from if I'm not mistaken from DC Scrapper Rooster who is Neary and I also have a little pocket here that you can stick whatever you want here okay got that little pocket I have a pearl right here simply because I made my card an easel Just with a little pearl hiding, you know, to hold it up there. And then I also made a, what they call it, a shaker with some off-way ribbon here, which I used this pin from Dollar Tree. It is a for, Forever in Time uh, paint pen or marker, okay? And I just colored the white off-ray off ribbon this color. 
but I don't know the color. They don't say what color it is. They're non-toxic. Is all they say. It's a papered craft collection. Meta it's a metallic marker, but they don't give marker. I think it's the um, color, but I'm going to try to find it online and link it down below. Now, I used what I have in my craft room. I went shopping in my craft room to make this, okay? So, and I also added some double-sided tape here to hold this closed, okay? As I said on the back, I left it blank, but I did put the stitching inspired by Miss Tracy Phillips, who is mindless crafting here on YouTube. I'll try to link her down below also. Um, everything I used, I'll try to link if I can find it down below in the comment section of the video and also in the description box if I can remember to do it in the description box. Okay? This is all I wanted to show you. And I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you all in the next video. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Be, be safe. Be kind. Be loving. And also, see you in the next video and on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.